switching gears completely, I want to talk <laughs> about One Punch Man. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which goes a little bit back to the whole OP thing we were talking yeah. about with uh, Food Wars, Shokugeki no Soma. I love One Punch Man it's so, so good. much. It's, so good. It's, it's in my top three favorites of 2015. Yeah, for sure. Um, but the weird thing is I actually didn't like it at first. I don't think it clicked with me right away. Like I watched the first episode. I was kind of not in a good mood. And I was like, eh, whatever. This isn't for me or whatever. And then I watched it with my cousin who was super excited about it. And that's when it clicked. I was like, oh, I super get the humor now. And I just continued to love it more and more from there. Um, yeah. So David's on your list as well. What did sure. you think? Uh, even though, uh, you know, it's it's that whole premise that he kills everything in one punch. Mm -hmm. and, like that's how every almost every episode goes. It's still uh, it's like enjoyable. Like his his character, his attitude. I mean, Geno's obviously Gino's like, just, oh, like he's so great. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it just it, like all those like everything works together. It feels just that the main character, like the one punch man, just doing his thing. I don't think it would work. But having all those other characters and I forget the name of the the ninja. Oh, uh, he's like Sonic. Like, oh, it's like, yeah, yeah Sonic like Speed that. or something. Sonic Speed, yeah, it's like some weird name. Yeah, just like his overconfidence and just how he feels. It's just, it like, it meshes perfectly together. And I like Moomin Rider. I do too. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, I just like the underdog so much. He tries so hard. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the cool thing about, uh, or not that's the cool thing about One Punch. A cool thing about One Punch Man is it came from a webcomic, mm -hmm. turned into a manga, and oh. then into the anime. Um, and the webcomic is basically making fun of shonen anime mm -hmm. in a, positive sort of way like what happens when you become the best mm. you're all trying to be the best what if you are so powerful you can kill everything in one punch and Saitama is so bored <laughs> he's so bored and it's hilarious and um I really love the animation and Genos is my husband though <laughs> yeah I love Genos I love androids they're so good um there's a really cool thing uh, with the Hero Association oh, the, yeah, like that, class, that made me laugh really hard team. is um, like Saitama is super powerful, but he doesn't really have a lot going on with the strategy yeah. of being so a much. hero. So he like just fails his essay like horribly. And I don't know. I thought that was a nice touch because it's like even though you're the most powerful yeah. man in the world, you're still not. You're like yeah, you're not officially. You're not, you're not, you're not a, officially. Yeah. You're only yeah. class C. You're not rank S yeah. um, and I just like I know, there's little touches Saitama like. is so blase about everything mm -hmm. like there's some tragedy going on in the city he's like picking his nose <laughs> yeah. he's like I don't know who that is who I'm are like, you yeah, what's yeah. going on they're like I'm missing the grocery store sale no yeah he flips <laughs> out so hard in my yeah, episode yeah, yeah, because yeah. he's like I only have so many hours so to get this good. sale and you're in my way mm -hmm. and then he's like oh my god I missed it yeah uh, uh, one of my favorite things is uh, definitely like when they reveal the workout or like his workout. Oh yeah! yeah. <laughs> and it's like the ten like ten miles running. And it's like a hundred push ups, hundred sit ups, hundred crunches. I think or no, yeah, pull ups or something. Oh no, it's squats. Yeah, squats. Squats. Yeah. It's squats. Squats on squats on squats. Oh, so it's like I want to believe that's oh. the actual workout, but yeah. you, like the, there's obviously that mystery of what could maybe you got. Some radioactive this. Yeah, or, what? I like when the characters are like, that's all? That's it? That's yeah, yeah, all yeah, you yeah, do? Yeah, yeah. You're lying. No way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's no way you just do a hundred <laughs> of each of those, like one set. And yeah. then uh, there's actually in our Facebook group, there's someone for a while who was doing like the One Punch Man workout, like <laughs> day by day yeah. log. Um, I don't know if you're still doing that, but if you are, I'm proud of you. Yeah. Don't punch me. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I don't think I could do a hundred squats. No, it's like that's no yeah <laughs> it's the stuff so. yeah it's, n it's not the kind of workout that you can sneer at yeah it's just oh, yeah. you know i don't know if it's like, enough to kill someone with one punch, punch. yeah it's like, oh, okay i want to believe though i want to yeah. believe yeah yeah i also really want to i can't talking is so hard you guys just typing typoing everywhere um i want to talk about the intro to one punch man uh, because uh, the intro so much i really love that song and i like that um you can see him in front of the like you know the danger rankings are like tiger mm. um and then the top one is like dragon Rod. yeah dragon is one of them it's like dragon and then god i think yeah and you can see it like in the intro he's standing in front of each one of those and he progressively gets smaller and they get bigger but the kind of the cool like visual component to that is you know he's gonna face them all no matter what he yeah. has he's really determined um and i just i like the intro a lot yeah. i think it does a really good job of highlighting his character and he'll be really dorky and then he'll get that like hardcore face uh, yeah, on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I like that they visually represent 
whether or not the audience should be worried about what's going on or how seriously <laughs> they should take it because yeah. if he's just kind of goofing off, he has his little wedge eyes That's and right. he looks adorable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah. then when he's like, all right, now I got to bring my A game, he gets super intense. Yeah, the shadows go over the eyes. Yeah, yeah his like face contours. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. literally contours. Yeah. And you're like, all right, he now, knows, now knows things get do. real. That highlighting and contouring a la Kim Kardashian. That's right. Um, yeah. That's his face is a there was an tell. internet meme about that where she's like, This is girls before they contour and this is them <laughs> afterwards. And it was just the two pictures of Saitama. <laughs> it's really funny. Yeah. Uh, to kinda quickly go back, so the intro for One Piece Man is great, but what really got me into Food Wars really quick is the the outro for Food Wars, like mm -hmm. the first season. It's like the best thing ever. Yeah. It's, it's my ringtone. That's so. I love that song. Yeah, yeah, that that's I like a strong intro outro. Mm -hmm. It can kind of make or break a show. Mm -hmm. And for One Punch Man, it really got me into it. It's like a hype song. Oh, yeah. I'm like hero. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I always when I start singing it to myself, it always sounds like the tune of Trogdor. Like I always start it like Trogdor. <laughs> I'm like One Punch and I don't know why I do that. Um, but yeah, so it's one of those things where everything came together really nicely in a really good package. Um, Stephen, do you have any thoughts on One Punch Man? I mean, it was really, it's it's another one of those series that's kind of like for anime fans. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you get a lot of these jokes because you've watched like different, like, you know, uh, hero anime or even like the giant suit, like kind of live action uh action shows from mm -hmm. Japan so yeah. being able to see these like really silly monsters and like what their origin story is mm -hmm. like it reminded me a lot of this um, offshoot series from Tenchi Muyo that was called a magical project s where they did that kind of around mocking the Sailor Moon series so mm -hmm. it would be like you know cheesecake girl who's spitting out cheesecake <laughs> everywhere oh. and she just says cheesecake cheesecake I'm a cheesecake <laughs> and can I uh, let me can I direct I'm so sorry uh, so Sailor Moon I know you guys love Sailor Moon but yes do but I've I I feel very neutral about Sailor Moon. I only watch one episode and barely watch that episode. And I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait a second, that's not yes. enough to get an yeah, opinion okay. so of so something that's like five seasons long. True, true. But, anyway. but this was back like in the '90s, so like I don't know, I was like seven or eight, and this like Dragon Ball Z was a huge thing. You know, just watching my cartoons, and I happened to drop on Sailor Moon, and it was sh it was Sailor Moon being tied up by a shoe monster, and I just being a kid, I thought this is really silly, and I just skip that channel so I never I think I remember that episode too oh <laughs> you know, it's just like this is like and I watched for like maybe a minute or two it's like this it doesn't make any sense and this is like I, Dragon Ball Z is so much better granted you know I was a kid then but I just I'm sure I'm sure I'll give Sailor Moon another try but just the cheesecake monster a shoe monster it's yeah. like not far apart but that's the brilliance yeah. of One Punch Man bringing it back around like the first yeah. episode it's like making fun of, of Dragon Ball Z yeah. character like the oh, enemy yeah. looks just like oh, I forget the character's name I'm blanking but um and yeah. then there's one where like an enemy has he's wearing Brawling, briefs and he has like yeah. a car head or so like car engine head or oh, something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Making fun of all that yeah. shown in the stuff plus the goofy live action. Yeah, yeah I think monsters. that's a the really good point of it being for anime fans. It'd be mm -hmm. hard to get into if you haven't at least seen a little bit of stuff like that so you can it might understand seem a little bit a little bit too over the top. If, yeah. You, yeah. if you're just like, oh, this is the first anime I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch One Punch Man. Yeah, like, yeah. He's like, no, no. no. All yeah. It's, it's like, too tongue in like, cheek. It's yeah. not a, a starter anime. It's definitely for people to be like, oh, yeah, that totally looks like a Dragon Ball monster. And it's funny because normally it's like four episodes of fighting. Yeah, and yeah. this one's just like, eh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's probably my favorite part of One Punch Man is the what in any other anime would take. A, like three episodes to finish is done in one punch yeah uh, um yeah awesome. so let us know what you think of one punch man we have a lot of fan art in the facebook group which again is facebook.com slash groups slash ign anime club it's the official group please join we love the facebook group yeah uh, our facebook group is awesome yeah so let us know what you think of one punch man